Tesla. And um, it's currently trading up at 3.12%. Now 2.82%. So this is what the chart looks like. Um, we have a 20 day and a 50 day. So this is what you, you will see in all the charts we will uh, cover in this video. So in this case, the 20 day represents the, uh, um, well, we'll call it short term, but it is uh, just uh, in between, just um, 10 days. Uh, longer than the short term so we'll, we'll, in this case we'll regard it as the short term trend and then the 50 day is the medium term trend so we we don't have a long term trend here uh, the 200 day 200 day uh, but so right now it has uh, it is uh, currently trading um, at, uh, it has converged with the short term trend Yeah, currently converge the short term trend, but um, it has been gaining a lot of support at the uh, at um, of re of late so at the uh, fifty day trend line. It has been a source of support that occurred on the eighth of uh, September. Um, yeah. So well. Uh, Tesla is um, um, is a hot topic. There's a it's of great interest to a lot of people. So, um, well, what we are seeing um, is some sort of consolidation, and um, uh, from what I've been gathering from uh, other analysts, this will take some time. You know, to to continue to consolidate and. Um, you know, um, of course, you may be aware that they recently um, decided to uh, split their stock and also take advantage of uh, the higher valuations and raise some um, some funds up to five billion dollars. So uh, this will it will take some time before things settle well with uh, Tesla. Okay, the um, next stock in this coverage will be GNFT. If you're joining us, uh, please like and uh, share. And um, um, if you're new, subscribe as well. Okay, so let's uh, check out the GNFT. GNFT. So GNFT, GNFT uh, SA is a biotech comp company. It's up 30.55%. Uh, let's see, let's see whether there's some news here concerning GNFT. Um, okay, yes. In continental Europe, the gainers uh, were led by biopharmaceutical GNFT. And DBB Technologies. Um, they were also followed, also followed by a 3D printer maker materialize. Okay. Um, European ADRs. So 
So it was definitely gapping up um, in the pre market. So um, let's see, let's see what uh, what they do. GNFT SA is a French based pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical company that specializes in the development of medicines for the prevention and treatment of diabetes and latent disorders. Uh, the company is uh, focused on contributing to bringing medicines to market for patients with metabolic, inflammatory, autoimmune, and fibrotic uh, diseases that affect the affect uh, the liver, such as uh, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or the bowel, such as the inflammatory inflammatory bowel the d disease. The company targets a number of birth Therapeutic areas, which includes non-alcoholic uh, stethia hepatitis, primary primary biliary cholangitis, and uh, NASH, NASH, NASH uh, diagnosis, NASH induced uh, fibrosis, and IL seventeen dependent dependent autoimmune d d disease. Okay, so uh, we we'll just quickly. Um, have a look Com price comparison uh, it's not doing well um, for the past one year not so wonderful um, let's just uh, you can see what happened there there was a gap in the chart over there okay you can see uh, there's a huge collapse here that was on the did that happen in one day that was the 12th 11th so that happened in one day it fell from $20 uh, $22 to uh, about uh, seven dollars and nine so some um, tail risk caught up with it and um, it uh, declined sharply so but right now we it's uh, it's currently up tra uh, trading above its uh, short of medium term trend lines it's up 30 percent but very very far away from uh, this uh, peak of twenty one dollars ninety two, which uh, uh, um, which are called on the eleventh of May twenty twenty. So, so the next one is uh, Sunworks. Sunworks has been uh, quite popular. We covered that uh, earlier on today, the the twenty eighth of September twenty twenty, as well as uh, we'll be covering it from the twenty fourth of September. 2020 so let's have a look and see it's currently up 16.27 percent it was trading lower in the uh, pre-market and um, actually closed down on uh, Friday the 25th of September 2020 so can't find anything Okay, particular concerning it. Okay, look at what. Okay, since um, for what for the past one year, it's um, uh, down fifteen point zero four percent. But for the last three six months, it's up four hundred thirteen point seven seven percent. For the one last one month, is eight, up uh, uh, eighteen point one six percent. So um, of late, of late, yes, it has been. Are performing um, the S&P US Industrial, S&P Global Industrial, S&P 500, S&P Global BMI. But uh, for the last one year, it uh, needs, it still needs uh, some to cover some more ground. 
So, uh, some walks formerly known as Solar 3D provides photovoltaics, uh, photovoltaic uh, PV based uh, power systems for the residential, commercial, and agricultural markets in California and Nevada. The company, through its operating subsidiaries, designs, arranges, financing. Designs, arranges, financing, integrates, installs, and manages system ranging in, in the size from t two kilowatts for residential loads to multi megawatt systems for larger commercial projects. The company's commercial installations include office buildings, manufacturing plants, warehouses, and agricultural facilities such as farms, wineries, and di dairies. The company provides a range of installation services to its solar energy customers, including design system, design system engineering, procurement, procurement permitting, uh, construction, grid connection, warranty, system monitoring, and maintenance. The company has installed over 850 system, systems in California and Nevada. So we don't know exactly know uh, whether the current uh, um, situation in Canada as it concerns uh, uh, fires uh, is currently affecting the the equity or co currently, currently affecting the company okay if you just joined us uh, please uh, like share subscribe as the case may be and uh, you can uh, leave us a tweet uh, sorry leave, leave us a chat and um, So let's go up and see what the chart says. What the chart? What the chart is saying? So obviously we have uh, we mentioned that um, Sunworks is uh, trading currently trading. It's uh, in its. Uh, um, three standard deviation price range which is a very uh, risky price range even though it, may, it uh, looks um, a bit low it doesn't look like much but it is a it is a uh, it's a risky uh, price point price uh, you know range based on uh, the data it, um, it has of, of late so um, and then if you buy with um, a few more uh, increase in value, it will uh, now go beyond that and into uh, yet uh, um, a different territory altogether, a territory beyond the 3D, sorry, the three standard deviation. And um, trading at three standard deviation, it, it means um, it has a fat risk and uh, Another implication about that is that um, there's likely to be a huge swing in the uh, negative direction or a, a huge correction, you know, or a huge pullback. You know, um, obviously, it's, um, it's been quite volatile, you know, see what's going on here on the, on the, uh, in the um, here on the short squeeze, we'll see how um, some of the data we have here will play out see um, today versus average the volume is about 113 uh, percent it has 16 million and um, today's volume is already 11.925 uh, million so um, it's quite active and um, not as active as it was uh, some days ago. It was up to more than 10 times uh, this uh, um, uh, share float. So if you're trading um, some walks, you have to trade with caution and uh, watch it critically. It's currently trading above uh, its uh, uh, short term me and uh, medium trend lines. You know, so normally this will tell you that um, you need to see a lot of consolidation you know you need to wait a bit uh, to ensure that these trend lines uh, probably catch up you know but um, it's up to you to decide you know 
if you're trading for the if you're if you're if you're if you're trading for the um, very short term, you know you you also you know decide whether this is the time to jump in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, at the same time, if you're trading for a longer term, you know it's not a bad idea idea to wait for um, some more consolidation to occur with uh, some works. Okay. The next um, equity in question will be OXBR. OXBR is Oxbridge uh, Reinsurance Holdings Limited. Oxbridge Reinsurance Holdings Limited is a specialty property and casualty reinsurer. The company provides reinsurance solutions through its subsidiaries, Oxbridge Reinsurance Limited and Oxbridge RENS. The company focuses on underwriting fully collateralized reinsurance contracts, primarily, primarily for property and casualty insurance companies in the Gulf Coast region of the United States. The company operates through the subsidiaries which provides collateralized insurance in the property catastrophe market and invests in various in insurance uh, linked securities. The company operates a, a single business segment being property catastrophe insurance. Its core business is focused on the provision of property catastrophe insurance coverage to a range of selected insurance companies and other reinsurers. So we will go up here. Um, of late, it's not been performing well, but the, for the last one year, it's definitely not uh, bad at all, quite tidy, 38.6%. For the last six months, that is 6.5%. But for the last one month, it is down 11.57%. But um, so far, it is up, look at that, 284.11%. Where is it currently trading? Four four eleven. So, but it's nowhere near. It's, uh, it's uh, not even close to f to half of its um, um, high of uh, nine sixty two, which it uh, touched today. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at the charts and while that is loading we come over here at uh, stop tweets and see what's going on OXBR okay you can see it again 28 point 281.31 percent volume is it 114 million point five one uh, shares so let's uh, have a look here and see okay wait uh, let's try it on a short squeeze we'll find out what it is OX BR So it has a market cap of 20.3 million. And the share float is, uh, look at that, 3.1 million. So um, today's volume is 74 million. And uh, so 
Today's London versus average is 4,864.78 percent. You can see that uh, around uh, 50 percent, so 10 million, sorry, uh, 1.5 million shares are freely are very available, even though more million is uh, available but um, since we have the inst insiders and institutions they are not likely to be trading as uh, frequently as um, 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 the market participants so we just assume we are looking at 1.5 million shares available so that 1.5 million is uh, responsible for this 74.43 million so the shares have uh, exchanged hands uh, so many times you know Hence, you know, this 74.4 million. So uh, we'll come back to the charts and see what's going on here. Um, and uh, obviously, um, it's a micro cap company. And uh, you can see what happened over here. And there's a huge spike. You know, and, uh, definitely, you would have, um, the price would have es escaped its, um, it's uh, um, three uh, standard deviation price range going by uh, this sort of uh, pricing we are looking at right now. So um, you have to be careful if you're trading. Um, LOXBR. Okay, the next uh, equity in question is uh, PLL, Pine Mont, Pine, Pine Mont uh, Lithium Limited. It's an Australian company. It's up to 190.91 percent. So this is what it has done so far today. Average volume is uh, 332,346. No more details over there. Okay, this is um, it's uh, filed a disclosure today. Let's see what it's saying. Reports of foreign private issuer pursuant to R thirteen A enters into a binding sales agreement to supply spot human concentrate to Tesla five year price and price uh, pr five year fixed uh, price binding agreement with uh, optional. 5 year extension agreement confirms the strategic nature of Pied Piedmont's unique American Spodumen deposit. Discussions on uh, ongoing with respect to all the lithium uh, and byproduct sales uh, arrangement. So, this is the disclosure. Um, the SEC today, this September, sorry, the 8th of, the 28th of September. So, um, let's have a look at the charts and see. we know it's uh, up there on a 4.55 percent so uh, on the let's see it was actually rising so 28th of, so of September 2020 that's the day well something happened here it didn't trade well, it did not. It did not trade for um, some time. <laughs> Quite unique. Suddenly went from ten eighty seven to what is going is trading right now. Uh, that's uh, uh, quite interesting. It's uh, of, it was of no interest for some time, for some days, and suddenly. It's now trading um, very high and uh, also very very risky at a very risky high height as well. So these are stocks to watch and see what's going to happen going to happen in the coming days. But uh, definitely, um, 
and you know as much as scientists deal about it, um, uh, that is aside because um, what's going on here is what's going on with the price is not um, as fundamental as um, um, the fact that it will supply uh, has this deal with Tesla. Uh, that's good news for sure, but um, um, well, you might say it's um, uh, the, the the price action is uh, is a response. Uh, it has responded to put it in the uh, correct uh, uh, valuation in, uh, with reference to what will occur over the next five years. So, but at the same time as well, you know, it has um, run up a huge gain for sure for you. And, and, and has now uh, moved into very risky ter territory. Uh, so, you know, like um, a lot of the stocks we've covered in this uh, session, you know, one has to be careful and um, have a look at the uh, disclosures um, with the SEC and see what uh, the cash flow, um, free cash flow is uh, like for uh, the company. Pi 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 Bond uh, Lithium Limited. Okay, the um, next equity is uh, Lithium Americas LSC. So, but before we go to LSC, let's see what's going on here on stock tweets with uh, um, PLL. just needs uh, more volume once they come to this ticker it uh, may fly like um, OXBR, SBR, okay, PLL remember what, remember what happened to Kodak, be careful guys get, uh, get in the discord we are going to hit a 100% plus late today um, not done yet. Does someone know a site that gives you notification when news like this comes out? Had a thirty-three dollar average this morning, sold it for a loss, and, uh, and they are okay. The problem is the contract is two years away, and anything can happen until then. Also, it's like buying this at fifty-four dollars and watching it dump. Bulls don't fight uh, the, the trend. <laughs> it's confirmed. Who are bought? Guys, what's your EOD, EOD estimate? Let's see. Um, what's going on here in the uh, volume is very high. Um, okay, let's see. Let's, uh, let's delete these and find out more, include more indicators. Yes, you can see that it is. Um, uh, it's uh, indicating that it's an over, overbought territory, so let's see what's going on here. Whether we can get some light as it concerns um, Pied, Piedmont, PLL. Shots increase is 91%. Um, share float, we don't have it. Okay, let's see, we, we, we should have it here. Okay, we will uh, have to go back to the summary. We 
didn't have any any details as well but then what is certain is that um it is uh trading it's uh the rsi is indicating that is uh it's been overbought so you really have to be careful trading um pnl pint pie month okay so next one is uh lac lithium america it's up by 22.83 percent so you can see uh, the gap that occurred here yeah. went from eight dollars uh, fifty to something above uh, ten dollars and currently at ten dollars fifty market cap of uh, 70, 769 million dollars shares are outstanding 90.04 short interest is 5.4 percent uh, okay let's see if the charts will open So um, in this case as well, yeah, at this point that would have been wonderful. This um, change of through change of thought. This is Tuesday or Wednesday, Wednesday the twenty uh, third of uh, September. So look at that. That at this point it was trading right below the medium term trend line. As a matter of fact, even on the twenty fourth, it was also it was still trading right below that trend line and then um on the 25th it escaped so it, it, it didn't start today this right it's there, there two days ago i mean two in the last if i as a matter of fact it started on the on the last week even though you can see even though it's uh minor very minor here but uh it was uh it uh in hindsight it was uh uh, it sets it set the stage for what uh, has happened today. Okay, so for some time it uh, sort of traded within uh, the six to eight dollar range. For how long was that? From fifth of August to. 11th of September not a very long time okay so uh, and also right now it's uh, also in the very in the neutral uh, region when it comes to um, um, the volumes okay let's see what's going on here with um, on the short squeeze Trading volume for today's, uh, we're not exactly sure whether it's, uh, this is current, current, current. Um, Chef CS loaded is uh, 55.4 million and uh, the average is uh, 1.6 million 
and today's average versus today versus average so versus average is uh, 423.59 percent so there's a lot of of, of uh, shares available so um, probably the reason why we don't have um, the sort of movements that we've seen with the others the sort of movement we have seen with uh, with uh, PLL so let's see what's going on uh, with LAC Like I said, I uh, started a nice little 7k position. Should I hop in on this for the near future on EV vehicles? Okay. Let's go get Tesla Army. In a weird way, I miss when it was uh, quiet in here. But I like money, so I'm willing to accept all my new friends. Along with Lithium, these companies touch could turn into success. Sympathy please. LAC PLM WW MR. Okay, so let's see what uh, exactly they do. that for the last one year 181.85 percent six months 22.2 225.95 percent for the last one month 15.56 even with um, that heavy number has heavy float how how, how uh, that very high um, float okay so this is not yes it is not uh, it is quite a relevant stock you can see ETFs holding this company, see, uh, Fresh Trust, uh, Nasdaq, iShares, SPDR, and S&P uh, International, Lithium Americas, formerly uh, Western Lithium USA Corp, is a resource company. The company is focused on development of two lithium development projects. The Kokokari or La Rose project, which is located in Jujuy province of, of Argentina, and the Lithium Nevada project which is located in northwestern Nevada, the United States. Its segments are Organo Clay, uh, Lithium Nevada, Kakokari or La Rose and Corporate. Its geographical segments are Canada, the United States, Germany, Argentina. The Kakokari or Kakuchari or La Rose project is a lithium brine mineral project. The Lithium Nevada project is a Smectite uh, clay based lithium project. In addition, it is pl its plant facility located in Fenelli, Nevada, is, uh, is constructed to manufacture specialty organic clay products, hectatone products, the beaver from hectar, hecto, hectorite, and other clays. Hectatone specialty organic clay product products derived from the uh, hectorite clay. Other clays are used by oil, oil and gas industry as uh, specialty viscosifier additives for drilling fluids in and in other sectors. Okay, so they also support uh, drilling fluid uh, makers. So market cap of seven hundred sixty nine million dollars. Okay, it has even options. It trades uh, options. Very interesting. So um, it's probably deriving some sympathy from the previous uh, equity we covered, PLL. This is a bigger company, and 
and looks like it's more better organized, um, slightly much better, slightly better organized um, than uh, PLL. Okay, the next one is uh, uh, PLCP. see uh, it is up 66.14 percent today it's an illiterate uh, electronic equipment instruments and components see that gap here see that gap this this is because uh, people market participants were trading in um, in the pre-markets so um, that the data that uh, brought it up to uh, up to the opening uh, price isn't available to the um, uh, the platforms most the most of the platforms in the US at the moment it's for probably not available to them hence this gap we have here and um, has a market cap of 39.8 million shares outstanding is 9.721 million Short interest 0 0.9, uh, shares held by institutions is 53%. Uh, okay, for the last one year, it's down 14.79. For the last six months, it's 38.6%. For the last one month, it's 3.99%. Perceptron Inc. Uh, develops produces and sells a range of automotive, automated industrial metrology products and solutions to manufacturing organizations for dimensional gauging, dimensional inspection and 3D, 3D dimensional scanning. The company's uh, products include 3D machine vision solutions, robot guidance, coordinate measuring machines, which is CMMs, laser scanning and advanced analysis software. The company's products are categorized as in line near line and offline measurement solutions, 3D scanning solutions and value added services. Okay. Uh, so let's see what the what the charts what the chart is saying. So this is not the first time it has had this uh, sort of uh, spike. Um, so after also trading below the short and medium trend line, this is after some uh, amount of consolidation. Mm, look at that as well too, okay. So this is uh, from um, the lockdown period. It uh, consolidated, traded sideways for how long was that? Eighteenth of uh, March to twenty first of May. second of May okay well okay that's uh, about um, two months and then started moving up again and uh, pulled back again and then from the 11th of June to uh, 13th of July another one month of uh, consolidation and then suddenly there's a spike did that happen in one day let's see this is uh, 13th of July, 14th of July, so that is uh, $3, $3.08 to uh, 
650 so over 100 percent 400 percent okay and then again to the <coughs> this is the 25th and uh, that was the that's 413 to 678 so hence we have about 66.14% So it is uh, gradually building a reputation for this sort of uh, action. So, and also you have to observe as well that um, at this sort of uh, spike, it's um, very risky. I can't exactly say that it is trading at its uh, beyond its uh, 3D, sorry, three standard deviation. But um, at this sort of uh, levels, you should expect that um, there will be a, a cool off and that uh, will eventually occur. That is uh, after 100% gain um, on and more on the, 20, on the 14th of July. Next time again, it was down to 473 so it lost about 50 percent again the next day so you know so you have to be careful tomorrow again who knows what's going to happen so but obviously i can see the uh, trend lines the shots and the medium 10 10 uh, medium term trend lines they are way away from where where it is so you really have to be careful if you're looking at uh, trying to uh, get involved with the percep perception um, same thing we have here concerning it so so if, if this is anything to go by if this uh, is anything what if hap what happened in uh, July is anything to go by you can expect that maybe it might uh, cool off again tomorrow okay so the next were um, in question will be plug plug power ink is a big company even though it's micro cap but um, it is small cap not a micro cap it's a small cap it's about 4.5 4 billion 4.4 billion market the short, short interest is 15.8 uh, percent uh, shares held by institutions is 52 uh, percent um, okay see what happened here so it's up 11.16 percent see there's also there's that gap again because of uh, the, ac the action or activity in the pre-markets i don't think we have any specific news concerning um, plot power Okay, I think we have one here. Plot Power has an average rating of buy and price targets ranging from $13 to $15 according to analysis pulled by Capital IQ. Uh, okay. So, let's find out what uh, Plot Power is into. Look at that. For one year, it's 339.62%. Uh, For the last, last uh, six months, it's 213.17%. For the last one month, it's down 10.86%. Plot 
of Power Inc. is a provider of alternative energy technology focused on the design, development, commercialization, and the manufacture of hydrogen fuel cell systems used for the industrial off-road market and the, uh, and the stationary power market. The company's product by inc includes uh, GenKey, GenDrive, GenFuel, GenCare, and uh, RelyOn. GenKey offers solutions to customers transforming their material handling vehicles to uh, fuel cell power. GenDrive is a hydrogen fueled proton exchange membrane fuel cell system. It provides a uh, fuel to material handling comp vehicles. GenFuel is a hydrogen fuel delivery system. It is designed to allow customers to refuel its uh, gen drive units for productivity. GenCare is an um, ongoing maintenance program for both the gen drive fuel cells and uh, gen fuel products. Rely on is a stationary fuel cell solution. It, it provides a uh, scalable modular P PM fuel cell power to support the backup and grid uh, so support power requirements of the telecommunications, transportation and utility sectors. So this this these guys are right in the mix of uh, where we are. You know, it's an uh, it's a green tech company, and um, it's uh, also traded in uh, um, options. So look at that. So since. Um, Okay, let's see. It wasn't affected that badly by the pandemic. So this is the period. It wasn't that you know, bad. And um, but since the third of June it has continued to move up. So since the third of June it has uh, gained it has risen from four dollars twenty three to where it is now today, um, twelve dollars, uh, twelve dollars um, ninety, which probably is up to uh, three times that um, valuation. So it's a, it was a gradual uh, with a lot of uh, corrections, and I can see what looks like uh, squeezes here. These these look like short squeezes. Can see it spikes goes back, spikes goes back, spikes comes down, and the spikes again comes down. So it's a trend. The yeah, very very sharp zigzags. So this is uh, this happened in how many days? First of September, two, one, two two days, and. Um, Corrected from corrected from let's see we don't have that for fourteen fourteen thirteen to eleven fifty five in two days, okay? Fourteen thirteen. That will be yeah, about twenty percent in two days. Okay. So, but at the moment, it has um, as at um, as at, the, as at Friday, the twenty fifth of September, it was just slightly above its uh, medium term trend line, but below. It's short term trend line, but um, so with uh, what was going on today it has um, escaped forward. So this is an interesting stuff to watch. You know, if you are if you are if you are very cautious about uh, the likes of uh, Tesla, you know, these are some of the plays you have to you can um, watch. You know, um, they are definitely doing what uh, the market wants. They are trade. They are. They have. Um, they are. They are 
their trade, they, they, they are involved with uh, green tech. So um, what's going on with uh, the Conrad revolution now? It uh, definitely benefits them, drops off on them very well. Um, and what uh, uh, they, 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 they definitely join uh, sympathy from, from, from the likes of, uh, of uh, Tesla and, uh, and Co. So, so let's see uh, what's, what's going on here on um, stock tweets. So we are log. Trust our Lord and Savior, I think, to lead us peasants to the promised land. Is it me or does any or does uh, Andy look like scientists did in Africa? Uh, mm, $12.50 50 EOD, then back at uh, 13 dollars tomorrow. Big boys on Wall Street on lunch, 1.30 p.m. Bolden. 1.30 p.m. Bolden will start picking up. So, all power stopped. Uh, why all power just jumped, just jumped twelve percent? Why well, Morgan Stanley says all power is positioned for long term growth? Can you see that? As if uh, all power pops on Monday, so Morgan Stanley upgraded. Upgrade by investing. Um, why Morgan Stanley says plug power is positioned for long term growth? Morgan Stanley says plug power is positioned to economically use green hydrogen. Green chart, very pleasing to eye. More, more of it, please. Okay, and then. Uh, Let's see what's going on here with uh, on short squeeze concerning uh, plug. Plug power. Short in to interest increases 10%. It will take two and a half days, 2.1 days to cover. Um, we don't have a share float. Uh, it's trading at a market cap of 3 billion. Today's average, today versus average is uh, eighty nine point two five percent. Today's average, today is uh, okay twenty five six seven, twenty five point six seven. Average is uh, twenty eight seven seven, twenty eight point seven seven. Okay and. Um, Insiders and institutional uh, investors hold about a quarter of the uh, float. Okay, and um, so it's interesting to watch. Plug up, plug play. We'll uh, continue to update you on plug play, and indeed uh, some of the other uh, some of the equities we have covered today uh, in this session. So the next one will be. Uh, MOBL Mobile Iron It's up 5.65% Market capitalization micro cap it's a micro cap 776.1 million Shares held by institutions seventy seven percent, short interest is two point six percent, put call ratio is zero point three for for last one day, put call ratio for thirty days is zero point seven. For the last one year it's down minus two point two one percent. For the last six months seventy nine point nine five percent. 
last one month is 1.14%. Uh, so we have uh, ETFs holding the stock as well. And uh, business summary is that my mobile Ionink provides a mobile information technology platform for enterprises to manage and secure mobile applications, content devices, content and devices. The company's solution provides enterprise security. The mobile ion platform combines security and enterprise mobility management tools, including mobile device management, mobile application management, and mobile content management capabilities. The company offers EMM tools, including EMM platform, cloud security, and mobile ion access, witness security with mobile ion bridging applications. Mobile ion offers its customers with its flexibility, flexibility to deploy its solutions as a cloud service or on-premise software. Its applications include AppWorks, App at Works, Docs, Docs at Work, Web at Work, Help at Work, Mobile Ion Tornel, mobile, mobile Ion Rooms, Mobile Ion App Connect, Connect and App Connect Ecosystem. The company serves a range of industries such as financial services, government and healthcare, healthcare and legal. So yes, it's it's an inf it's volume in infotech. So it's in the right uh, sector to benefit from the uh, current um, work from home that has been um, exacerbated or brought to the fore by the pandemic. Um, Okay, let's see what the charts is saying. And before that, while this, while this, while this really loading up, we have a look at um, Short interest of 2.95%. Shares uh, float is uh, 1.3 million. So today's uh, volume is 22.6 million. And uh, today's average compared to normal average, you can see, so even with uh, that hef hefty uh, issue, hefty uh, share float, people were. Uh, um, it, was, it was okay maybe maybe um, the reason why it's not so what we have here it has only increased by 5.65 percent it could it could be it could be a factor it could be a factor you know and the fact that we have uh, the fact that we have uh, what is it called only five percent uh, move it, it can be, it can be uh, factors. You know, they can't, uh, they can. With a huge float, with a huge amount of shares available. Okay, let's see. We have a uh, seventy-two point uh, seventy-two plus thirteen. We have that is eighty-five percent of the equity held uh, by uh, non-active uh, participants, so non-active uh, holders. So we have about 15% of it, which is available for trading, which is about uh, 15 million or 16 million or thereabouts. So yeah, if all of that had been bought or sold, you know, um, well, well, the fact the fact is that um, the fact it has it, it has um, this sort of uh, share float, it can affect them. Um, its ability to move its volatility so let's come back here and see what they're saying on uh, stock tweet you want to tell me how the stock is trading such high volume but isn't moving okay yeah, exactly because the shares are it has it has a lot of shares you know they, they float is a lot so the demand you can demand all you want from it as far as their shares of these shares are available to meet the demand there's no need to increase the prices you know it's um, there's enough supply to meet the demand at the moment so we we are talking about um, for it to actually be moving then we're talking about up to 1 billion 
volume or more, more since it has a, a a float of 103 million so for it to have a significant um, um, uh, volatility we've just seen five point some five point six five percent for it to have significant volatility then we're talking about um, a vol volumes more than uh, what is going on here the current volume is 22.6 you know five million uh, and it is that's 26.265 million is just also it is just probably 15 percent that is uh being uh recycled and um if that is the case it uh, it may if it's only that 15 percent as and then it there's a good chance also that uh, the institutional investors are also actively trading as well you know, hence, uh, because if we have only 15 million or thereabouts that is only available and uh, 22, yeah, it could still, it could still be that only that 15, 16, 15 million that is uh, what is uh, responsible for this it could still be, you know. So um, we've covered that a bit. So let's go back to the chart and see what's going on here. As you can see, a steady climb of late. And uh, as at uh, Thursday, it was way, it was down, it was below the uh, trend lines, you know, and uh, a very good indication. And um, probably some good news came in, and it went from, went from uh, 5.54 on then on Friday, it reached the, uh, 661 okay slightly up now so it was gradually slightly af af it was affected by the pandemic but um since recovered and there's been trending like um, all the other um all the other plays all the other equity in its uh, sector as well so this is right in the summer july so you can see we had some spikes. One, two, three, four, four days of upward uh, momentum, yeah. and then um, corrected a bit and continued again, and uh, corrected, and uh, short interest maybe may be responsible for this sort of uh, declines and then again positive news up again and this is a sh this is a quite and uh, quite a sharp incline so this is uh, when it's like that it's likely that they call it a chord in a very in very few days yes so it is uh, one one day so it went from 5.99 to 6.72 yeah okay so we've also noticed that um, um, some people are talking about SPCE that's Virgin Galactic It uh, also gapped in the pre-market as well. You can see that that's a gap. Three point eight billion um, US dollars market cap. It's um, it's a small cap. Short interest of seventeen point nine percent. Not doing so well. Um, it could be more. It's in the last six months, it could be more. It's uh, just six point eight three percent. The last one year, it's fifty four point five six five six percent. But I think uh, the most interesting thing about um, Virgin Galactic is uh, its uh, short interest seventeen point nine percent. So let's click on the. 
chart and come to short squeeze and see SPCE. Nineteen point eighty one to nineteen point okay, that's the about the price. So whoa short percent of float is seventy eight point two seven percent. All right. An increase of eighteen percent. Shares sold short is one to one point nine million. And uh, shares floated is fifty three point six Five million. Really interesting, yes. So let's uh, find out what people are saying on the SPC on the short um, spot tweets. Okay, this is some really some some uh, sideways uh, momentum um, consolidation for a long time and uh, just of late it started to this is on friday so in uh, this 22.25 uh, percent has cost it to uh, escape um, the The clutches or, or the resistance that um, the trend lines have been have have imposed on the, on on it for some time. The uh, short and medium trend lines, would I say, from uh, from for a long time. That will be since since August. Yeah, since August. Yeah, some fascinating stuff. Um, SPC is currently not making money at the moment, but um, um, the prospects are there. Okay, let's see what's what people are seeing here. Squeeze to start soon. Okay. At some point, yes, all that uh, 79, 78.27 percent, they have to come back in. They can. It's a very uh, it's a very high. It's a it's 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 a very high volume of uh, the equity that is in one direction, lopsided indeed. I feel like um, I feel like news will break soon and will skyrocket again. Um, Five dollar. What are you paying for? What stock cash has? Anyone buying puts today at a January 2023 $25 leap call, $25 leap calls. Okay, okay. And then chat me over, have uh, most gaining stocks today, includes SPCE and uh, DTM Americas. Yes, anyone buying us today? Holding, holding to $30 squeeze to start soon it's time hold your mm -hmm. what a ride has been over 20 again why not let uh, go to $21 Virgin Galactic stock predictions when will we make money how oh, damn this is fun to watch let's go crazy among amounts let's go crew that's let's go got crazy amount of the team call today I told my boss if batters me I leave mm -hmm. buying every single 10 minutes the star is a life changer $20 broken with a little news this caps up to $27 in the blink of an eye see history good articles TV coverage and Bullish analysts plus two Momo and uh, FOMO plus three very very high percentage of floats being shotted the perfect trifecta okay good uh, okay okay SBC number one good articles TV coverage and bullish analysts two not exactly know what um, 
and Momo is something about missing out obviously and FOMO and very very high percentage of she has been float being shorted a perfect trifecta okay my three beauties I said uh, it's the it's first PT not sure what he's saying over there okay um, thank you very much for joining us in this live uh, live uh, session if you're new to this uh, channel please subscribe and uh, like and share and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime we 